Hello, fourth grade. I am so happy to visit with you again this week, and I'm calling this week our video extravaganza week. I have all these great videos for you to watch. I only have one thing to demonstrate, and that's the French horn this week for you. I'll do that in a little bit. But all of the links for the videos are going to be down below in the, um, in the description of this video, so you can just click and go. And so we need to continue moving on in our study of Holst's, Gustav Holst's planets. And um, the next two are going to be, um, I would like you to listen to Venus and then Mercury. And now you don't need to do these all at one time. If you want, um, I've got, I'm going to be giving you two other videos to do this week. Like I said, it's a video extravaganza week. So there's four videos, so you can choose and pick how many and how often you want to watch them. But the two for the planets, the first one, Venus, is probably the longest. It, well, it's nine minutes. It's not as long as any um, of Jupiter, but it is one of the longer movements of the planets. And the subtitle for Venus is called The Bringer of Peace. And it says, the cool blue Venus follows angry red Mars. And by the way, I am saving the very first movement, which is Mars, for your last movement. And I'll do that in our final video. So right now, I'm moving you to the second planet, Venus. And um, the music is slower. And it's beautifully eerie. They're with relaxing tones on harps and flutes. So listen for harps and flutes shimmering strings and ethereal solo violin passages call to mind that Roman goddess Venus. So that's nine minutes long and the link is below. It'll be from minute 837 to 1722, so around roughly nine minutes. Then right after that is Mercury and it's a short movement of only four minutes and it's called Mercury, the winged messenger. It's flighty and fast, and the lively Mercury is quick and powerful in equal measure. The high-pitched harp, again, you're going to hear harp, flute, and glockenspiel. Glockenspiel is orchestral bells. It's a, um, a xylophone-type instrument. It hops and skips and jumps throughout the suite's short duration of just over four minutes. So those are the next two planets on your visit to the planets this time around. Our um, third video I would love for you to watch is called Be a Part of the Band. And it's a really cool set of videos. The first one I'm going to give you, and you can springboard from that if you'd like, is kind of shown here. It's You can see this young man. He has got a trombone. He plays a trombone in their school band. And actually the video starts out with a guy, an adult. And then he gets pushed out of the way. It's kind of fun and humorous, but it's pretty, it's pretty fun um, informational about the different instruments of the band. And since we're not going to be able to meet each other, I can't show you any more in person. This is kind of a fun thing to listen and watch. Um, so, And then from there, you can go on to that whole series, and they will even show you more about the specific instruments, even deeper if you'd like to go and explore on your own. And then the final video, the fourth one I'm going to give you a link to, is actually just been released last week. It's by our very own, the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra. And what they have done is they've taken one of my most favorite, favorite pieces of music. It's called Nimrod by Edward Elgar. And um, they, what they've done is they each separately in their homes recorded this piece of music on their own instrument. They used special headphones and what they call a click track, and they recorded it, and then they sent it in to the symphony's special sound engineer, and he's meshed them together to create this performance that is just beautiful. And so um, you're gonna enjoy that, and I'll have, give you that to click on. And then that leaves us with our final thing this week to show you is the French horn demonstration. And I know I've brought it for you before, but I thought I'd show it to you again, and I'm actually going to play a piece of music, um, just a snippet from New World Symphony. Again, a classical piece of music. Notice how big the bell is. It's quite large. This is a beautiful instrument. I think you've enjoyed hearing it in the past. It has three valves, 
and and we put our hand in the bell. This is the only instrument where your hand is in the inside the instrument, but I don't close it up. I just use it to hold the instrument up. I kind of prop it up with that right hand and it goes like this. Okay, so I'm going to get my note and then I'm going to play you a snippet from New World Symphony. So that is the French horn and an instrument that you might decide to pick for yourself to play next fall when we get back to school and can start playing a band instrument. Take a look at all those videos that I have for you this video extravaganza week and have a great week. Bye now.